Hey guys, this is Cardinal Bird 5 and welcome to a, another player review, uh, player flashback review, and today we're going to be going over the Prime 96 overall Yadier Molina. So, in order to obtain this card, you need to get the rookie Yadier Molina, and the only way I know of doing that is on the marketplace. He may be in packs or he may be a random battle royale reward, but currently I don't see any on the market, so I'm not exactly sure. People, um, Got him somehow, so I'm not exactly sure. But anyways, I got him on the market for around 28k. Now he's probably gonna cost you closer to like 90 to 100k. Maybe if they put some more in the market or start putting more in packs, we'll see some more of this card. Uh, again, not again really sure of if it's in packs or whatnot, but it is a rare, a really rare pool. Um, so once you get that rookie Molina, you go to discoveries and similar to Jimmy Rollins, you'll see these mission tabs pop up. Uh, Yadier Molina one, you have to collect 40 hits with him. And then it'll advance and where you have to feed catchers into your creative player, similar to Jimmy Rollins on the shortstops. And then finally, you'll have to lock your rookie player in in order to obtain this prime 96 overall, Yadier Molina. Again, both of the cards will lock, so you can't use them or sell or you can't sell them afterwards. Um, <clears throat> that being said, uh, let's take a look at some of Yadi's stats and some of his attributes as well. So we're going over to the statistics tab and go to catchers and I'll uh so we go to catchers and we're looking for <coughs> Mr. Molina here and this is the Molina uh the prime Molina that I've been using and let's take a quick look at his stats um I'm not hitting too bad with him if I can actually find the batting average where is that all right so I'm hitting 433 with or 343 with him uh Let's see, I have a 943 OPS, almost a 600 slugging, 593. Uh, I don't strike out very much with him, but I haven't drawn uh, a ton of walks with him either. Kind of have a gr an aggressive approach with him at the plate. Uh, here's, a cl here's a look at his attributes. He has 84 contact versus righties, 88 versus lefties, 55 power versus righties, and 66 power versus lefties with that 94 plate vision. Of course, you take a look at his fielding. It's all remark. It's all very remarkable. Um, he is actually a little bit better compared to his live series uh, when it comes to defense and, of course, offense as well. But his uh, blocking and reaction is a little bit better, and he has a little bit more speed, um, although it is really slow. And that is his r really one weakness with that 22 speed. Um, I would compare this to like a Buster Posey, except with the defense is remarkable. So definitely uh, a great card. And next, we're going to take Yachty in the batting cages. Give you guys a few tips. Uh, show you what he can do at the plate as well. Alright, so here we are doing some batting practice. Uh, give you guys a few tips. And of course, if you guys ever want to watch me use these players, make sure you check out my live streams, uh, twitch.tv forward slash card number five. I stream three to four times a week, you know, six to eight hours if not more. And I show, I use all these players I'm going over right now. All these players that I've done reviews on, I've used them in games. But anyways, back to uh, give you guys some tips with Yachty. Um, I've noticed a lot of people like to challenge him up and in for whatever reason. They think he's not the flashback Yachty or that he can't hit home runs even though you know he has 55 power. They really like to challenge him. So you know, tell your opponent you're willing to hit that first. Set your PCI up and in or start at middle in and react. Similar to the, to the Jimmy Rollins, you have to be able to pull the ball and power swing a little bit, and you'll have good results. I've hit some pretty good bombs with him. You don't always have to power swing, but if you pull the ball and get under a little bit, you can hit home runs with him. Definitely a great hitter. Of course, what makes Yachty the best is his ability to go up to the opposite field and the ability to put the ball in play. You can do a lot of hit and runs with him. Um, really good player at doing that. Uh, so it really depends how you want to use him. If you want to use him for power, look middle in you know, sit on that fastball. Um, if people are going to pitch you away, I would start your PCI, you know, kind of high, high and away, and try to hit on top of it as best as you can. Uh, Yachty actually has really good gap, gap to gap power as well. He'll have a lot of gap, uh, gappers like right there to right center. So just stay on the pitch, start your PCI a little high, and just, you know, naturally be a little bit late on it, and the PCI will drop right on the ball, either for a line drive or for, uh, for a hard hit grounder up the middle. Um, definitely uh, a good, a great hitting catcher. I wouldn't put many catchers above him. Um, there's the McCann, uh, the flashback McCann, 
Uh, of course, the busted posy is really good, but like I said, Belina has way better defense than that posy. And there's also going to be eventually a 99 flashback Mauer that I think would be the only card that I would use over this. Um, so definitely looking forward to see how we can get that card. <laughs> but anyways, uh, guys, that's pretty much going to do it. Um, like I said, if you want to hit home runs, have quick bat, look middle in, start your PCI high and up, and people are going to try to try to challenge you right away. Um, and of course, his ability to hit off the field is amazing. It's pretty much the tip, all the tips I have for Yachty. Definitely a great player. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like and sub if you want to see some more of these player reviews. Also, feel free to request some reviews you want to see. This is Carnalbird5 signing out. Peace.